Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so uh, this session uh, is a special uh, session. It's a special virtual show showcase. Uh, uh, we have with us uh, Harsh today. He's the CEO and uh, founder at Virosis. Uh, Virosis is a young furniture design company. They're based out of Bombay. And uh, it was born from the uh, mother company, which is Petroda Furniture. Uh, they were into uh, the brand was synonymous with uh, task seating and history uh, spanning over uh, and have a history of uh, over 75 years. Uh, Virosis uh, specializes in furniture uh, to projects, all of it. Uh, with local manufacturing association and its recent collaboration with companies such as uh, Techno Spa Italy and their, uh, their alliance with Sir Norman Foster, uh, they've been able to uh, support India's finest companies uh, and uh, work with numerous uh, dealers to uh, provide uh, good design ideas uh, for less. To know more, you can always log into bureaucracy.com. Uh, and we are lucky to have uh, Harsh Petroda, uh, who is the CEO at Bureaucracy. Uh, he is an urban hermit, a, a bathroom pianist, and 100% made in Bombay. I think, Harsh, I covered all of the points in your introduction. So, um, we supply furniture to offices, corporate parks. Uh, you know, the offices can be very large. It can be even a two-person family office. Um, so we, we, we've got a whole array of brands and products that we use depending on what area of the space that we need to furnish. Um, the also the other reason is we like to reflect the DNA of the company uh, through furniture. So it could be, let's say, a slightly orthodox uh, legal firm, or it could be, uh, you know, an app development company, or it could be a small uh, family office. And uh, you know, everybody's got their own personality the brand personality keeps differing it's not just about budget but it's about let's say simple thing like you know the thickness of the tabletop or the veneer or the shade or the heaviness or the lightness or the sleekness so we, we, we've got lots of different products that you know and the dna of every product is it's made from very high quality material and uh, you know it works beautifully across the entire office so you take one system and you can use it in the operational zone the executive space um, you know, and then there's different products. So we've we've got partners in Italy, and uh, we we had some products and partners in China, but now maybe a sensitive topic to talk about that. Uh, we've you know we've completed recently uh, an eighty thousand square feet office in uh, in New York, and uh, with the client had seen uh, some of our work, and we had done some work for them in Bombay, and then they approached us, and then we. Uh, you know, uh, shipped out things from Italy and Spain and uh, Malaysia and uh, some from India as well. So these are some of the interesting products that you see there. You know, that it's a glass pool table, but it can be used as a as a meeting table actually. Um, so 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 let's move to the next slide. And that just basically talks about uh, all the different categories that we have. From you know, when we conceptualize the space, you've got to take some wireless lights and. Um, and, you know, products like that, that sort of work cohesively in, in uh, you know, most offices. Uh, let's go to the next slide. Okay. So this is where we start uh, talking about the, you know, this is, this, is a, this is an enormously, I mean, a fascinating picture of a sneeze, which, you know, said to travel across 25 feet uh, uninterrupted and uh, it goes at an incredible speed of, I think, 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, and, you know, and we, sort of I attended a presentation by Sir Alan Hedge, who's, um, you know, ergonomics uh, special. And um, when he pulled out this slide, it was just, I mean, amazing how, uh, you know, this sort of aerosol is just constantly moving around. And that's what's, you know, sort of spreading this coronavirus. And hence, we all sort of covered up in shields and masks and things like that. So I just wanted to, you know, Bring that up as an opening slide. Now let's go to the next one, please. Right. Um, this is sort of why we need uh, what we need and why we created these green guards. Uh, keep continue to the next slide. Yeah. Um, this basically just tells you about the number of bacteria that you know exists in the office and why the you know let's say if you got a fifty seater office, you built the HVAC as per a fifty seater. So. 
you also uh, you know need to use these screen guards wherever people are sitting some people have asked me like we only using about 30% occupancy so should we only get it for those guys and my general recommended answer is that i don't recommend it because uh, you know the, the the aerosol the droplets are um, um, constantly moving around because of the hvac so they're constantly circulating and they move at a certain altitude and with a certain velocity. So the number of screens that you have should be proportional to the number of people intended to sit. Um, let's go to the next one again. Next one. Okay, so this is just, I mean, you know, talking about shields and things like that. Uh, this is what we were doing pre-COVID, uh, open desking systems. Um, they're very popular today. We've been using them for the last, I think, 15 or 20 years. And we moved from a cubicle system previously, you know. Um, and now these systems are turning out to be ineffective and works and the cubicle system works again. So what, what is it that a business should do? I mean, they, they're not going to throw all this furniture away and put, put another whole capital exercise and operational exercise to get new systems. So uh, we found an interesting way to clamp our protection barriers onto existing screens that you see on, you know, on workstations. Let's go to the next one, please. Right. So this is again just elaborating on why the old style is better because you sort of cubed up yourself. Uh, only problem in this picture on the on the right where the old style is better. Uh, the only change that should happen really is that you still, you know, need some natural light. So most of us have been home for about. 110 days I'm guessing and you know you don't want to go back to the office and still be sort of cooped up within three walls uh, with zero natural light so we've uh, we've altered this design to you know with slightly more transparent and translucent panels let's go to the next one please okay next one please yeah continue Sure. There's some installations that you know that are uh, that we've done for hotels and uh, restaurants. Not restaurants, sorry, hotels and uh, some offices, banks, uh, clinics. Okay. Um, yeah. So look at that classic example: a workstation. Up. Let's just go up there. No, no, no. up, up, up. Yeah. So up. Uh, you're, you're scrolling the other way. I wanted to show the previous slide. Yeah, perfect. So um, this is the last image of this, you know, concept. A lot of this uh, does need some discussions. We have, uh, our, you know, our team of designers. Um, if anybody needs any assistance, you know, you can log on to our website called bureaucess.com or um, yeah, get in touch with us through the website is the best way. Or me personally, if you know, and um, we will we'll basically take you through what situations are existing in your office, where the threats are and what you can do to avoid it. As I said, the last thing I'd like to say that, you know, I mean, you can wait to go to the toilet, but you can't, you know, you get only a two or three second warning before a sneeze. And you may not be a, a COVID victim, but you want to avoid that sense of paranoia uh, in the office. Especially for very large organizations, what happens is, you know, if, if there's one case and, uh, you know, you get paralyzed again all over and there's, there's operations and HR has this whole lot of paperwork to do and uh, moving people logistically up and down to another block and things like that. And all of this will happen, you know, come August, uh, this is going to happen. So I urge businesses out there or if you know people who are, you know, have business or may not know about this product, do share it. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're just, we're happy to help businesses maybe it offices or uh, retail or airports or you know whatever it takes so that brings us to the end of sort of this particular section i wanted to uh, quickly share some very interesting products that we've got and we used previously in projects and uh, if you go to the next slide you know we start with empatia so this is um if there if there are any you know sort of the interior designers on this uh, forum today uh, you might really like the look and feel of these kind of things for, you know, ultra luxury homes and offices and airport lounges. And that's some of the places we've used it. Um, so this is a, it's a ping pong table essentially, but uh, it's, quite, it's quite a major. So uh, it's all made of crystal glass. I think I feel free to keep just 
keep uh, you know sliding through now yeah and just a really quick overview of uh, of you know some of three of the interesting systems that we have so the ping pong table or this sort of pool table which is about philosophy um i think a lot of online poker has been played nowadays but uh, yeah i think uh, they have an interesting poker table too so uh, some of these get used in sort of uh, let's say a very premium uh, you know buyers lounge uh, in homes okay let's keep 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 flowing through so this is just really interior designers might enjoy the look of this uh, this is an italian company we represent in india with some lovely interesting fittings and keep carrying on keep carrying on yeah beautiful products okay feel free just uh, go through it now this is very nice finishes um, a lot of this information is available on our website uh, this is an interesting system called beta uh, let's scroll down yeah so <clears throat> yeah let's uh, keep keep scrolling that's fine so this is a very covid friendly situation where if you're designing a new office this system uh, you know creates your own island space using the same amount of square foot that you initially had planned for let's say a linear desk again i think some of this terminology may uh, some of some of you may not understand but uh, you know the designers or architects on this forum uh, they don't understand what i'm saying so if you scroll down there's a nice visual of uh, two layouts which were sort of compared and uh, you know we'd used a linear formation yeah so that's a linear formation that we've got in beta and then let's keep keep scrolling yeah keep scrolling scrolling yeah so yeah so that one right so 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 a typical linear pattern can sort of then move into a uh, trilogy or a quartet and things like that and you end up using the same amount of space and you know we've done a couple of case studies for that so this way yeah here it is here it is that that's it, the next slide that this yeah that little rendering up thank you so so here you see the same amount of space the same amount of people uh, seated in this place uh, we've obviously changed it. Way looks very less uh, compartmentalized and a little bit amoeboid in fashion. But uh, but hey, I mean you you you've got a good distance away from each other. You've got a good amount of uh, private desk space with your own storage. Um, it's a very fluid layout. So that's what one of these systems that we have you know allows you to use these planning tools when you're planning a new space. Okay, so that's I think that's about it. There's I think one more pro product left, which is very interesting. It's from the same company called uh, Technospa. Keep uh, scrolling, uh, please. Right. Yeah. Next one. Next. 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 Yeah. Okay. So this is the Clavis system. Um, can we go to the next one? So this. So this whole. This whole system is is essentially four legs, uh, but. The, the way it's fitted is completely tool free and it's got sort of magnetic elements within the frame so it allows you to demount your tabletop and mount it uh you know without any tools or any screws or whatsoever uh, this is a very beautiful product comes in different sizes and specifications as per you know your layout uh can you just keep scrolling that's fine now um also makes a great home study desk for those of you who are looking for something interesting at home Thank you, Harsh. I'm going to end the session. Guys, okay. see you back in 10 minutes. Go grab your uh, coffees and teas.